in 2004, we made the original movie, and then sometime around 2017, 18, we made the musical, the Broadway version of the musical of Mean Girls, and then the national tour has been out on the road, and now we are working on the Mean Girls movie. Now we're here making the film version, um, and the idea of taking the Broadway show to the film version um, was exciting to me because it felt like we could kind of have the best of both worlds. We could have this great music uh, while still being able to kind of live with our characters in a close-up to be able to have new jokes and um, uh, new moments that are surprising to people. Um, I think that over the years I've realized that these characters <clears throat> and this story uh, have had a much longer shelf life than anyone uh, could have anticipated. And so to get to do something new with them, I think, I think people would be surprised. The main thing that was important to me this time in doing it for the screen was to um, find ways for it to be new and surprising to people. And I think the casting um, lends to that tremendously. I think these actors are incredibly perfect in their roles and very kind of modern take on these parts, bringing together cast of actors is one of my favorite parts of the process, whether it's in film, television, stage. I, I love getting a chance to be a part of it, and I'm so thrilled about this cast that have come together. And Gowrie Rice plays Katie, um, and Gowrie is a very, very smart, talented Australian actress that people will know from many things. She had that kind of deep intelligence that Katie needs to have. Katie, Katie needs to be very smart, and then Gowrie really just delivers that and has great timing and is just kind of radiant on screen. So that's our Katie. Bibi Wood is Gretchen and uh, Bibi, her tape just left off the screen when she auditioned for the movie. It just was immediate to me and to Lauren Michaels. We were like, whoa, there's Gretchen. That's our Gretchen. Gretchen also has to be very intelligent but have this kind of core of fragility that still has to be comic, and BB just understood that from John. Avantika plays um, Karen, and similarly, we were like, there's Karen. Just the moment we saw her tape, she is stunningly beautiful. She has this kind of innocent, kind core that Karen kind of needs to have, and she, she has that warmth. That called Spivey is playing Damien. Uh, I had seen Jackwell in Strange Loop on Broadway and immediately thought like, this guy's incredible, he's carrying this whole show. It's, it will be a surprise to no one that he's incredibly talented and hilarious. And also has that kind of the warmth underneath uh, Damien that you hope for him to have. Damien really does care about his friend Janice. He he cares about his friend Katie. And so, yeah, Jackwell's amazing. Ali Cravalo is playing Janice uh, and she, it's awesome. She is also one of the most, I don't know if you say telegenic, if it's for film, she's cinegenic, but she is one of the most beautiful actors on screen. Her face is just, you could just watch dailies of her for hours. Um, and she brings the kind of uh, fierceness that, that Janice needs to have, the underpinning of, of resentment of what's been done to her in the past. Uh, and you, I, you, know, you fully believe that she is an artist because Ali is an artist you know, in, her, in her way. Um, and uh, yeah, she's killing it as Janice. The Queen Bee, Regina George, um, is a person that I've had the pleasure of working with in this role before, which is Renee Rapp. And Renee, um, did the show on Broadway. I met Renee when she was 19, I think, and we had seen her audition for the Broadway show and she wasn't sure if she wanted to do Broadway and Lauren Michaels and I um, basically invited Renee to his office and we're like, you need to do this. You're, you're, you, you would be wasting your talent if you don't do a run at this before you launch your music career. And thank goodness she said she would like to, so she did an amazing run on Broadway as Regina George and then has now launched her incredible music career, which is only gonna continue to explode, I believe. She's uh, already a fan favorite. You know, people love her. They love um, her voice. They love her presence. They love her core self, which, uh, her TikTok presence, which I think is good because, you know, Regina has to be a three-dimensional villain. Um, and so you can't, you don't want it to be a two-dimensional person that you hate. And you kind of watch Renee come into these scenes and be scary, but she's also kind of enthralling. And you get the thing of like, I do want her to like me. Does she I am reprising my role as Ms. Norberry because we thought, well, teachers work for a long time, so 
it might make sense if Tim and I did it. And so I called Tim and I was like, will you do it? I'll do it if you do it. But um, it's been really nice to get to work with Tim again. Art and Sam really talked about the need for the movie to be surprising. And in what ways could it be unexpected, could just literally to surprise the audience who have seen the original movie so many times. Um, and they have some incredible ideas of how to do that and how to shoot it that way. They come from music video. so for the ways for the songs to feel dynamic and exciting. Um, it's been great to see them um, in their element. When we came time to find uh, Anne Gowrie's mom, in this case, um, uh, I thought, who is the only living, who are the only living actors that my own children care about? And that is anyone affiliated with The Office. <laughs> I did think, like, if I could get Jenna Fisher to play Anne Gowrie's mom, my children will finally respect me. And thankfully, Jenna wanted to do it. Uh, and the other thing that's sort of crazy is I do think that Anne Gowry and Jenna really look related. They really could be related. And again, you know, um, to take on Anna Gaster's part like that, you need someone who has proper comic timing and also that you have to believe they're intelligent the way Anna is. You have to believe that they are a scientist in the field. And I think Jenna pulls that off as well. My friend, Busy Phillips, um, had the uh, balls of steel that it required to say, yes, I will, I will play Mrs. George. I will follow in Amy Poehler's footsteps. And I have Amy's blessing. I was about to do this. We should do that. But I did get Amy to bless the choice. And she was like, I think that's a great choice. And t again, talk about a familial resemblance. I really feel like Busy and Renee Rapp could be related. The other person that I think is really defining the look of this movie is Kyle Hanagami, our choreographer who's a genius and has um, had such an incredible sense of, of using dance to tell the story, of, of finding moments of humor within the numbers, of finding moments uh, that people, maybe people will, will want to try this on TikTok, or they will um, think this is like something cool they haven't seen before. Um, he's been just invaluable. I think people are going to love this cast, and I hope that people will um, find moments where they're like, oh, I didn't expect that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.